You do, I tell you! Daddy! Daddy! Get off of her! Get up! Get up! Come on, John, stop it! Hey! Hey! Pull up! Oh, my nose! I think he broke my nose. He's broken up. Stay away from your boy! Don't let him hit me again, please! He's not hurt yet. Oh. Oh, I can't see nothing. Lizzie? I'm here, Dad. Oh. Oh, what are you trying to do? He's just faking it, man. Oh. Is it broke? Oh, it sure feels like it. I don't know. I feel awful. It doesn't look broke. Do you want to see a doctor? No, I can't afford no doctors. Lizzie will take care of me, won't you, honey? Just get that character out of here. Come on, let's get in. I'm not leaving her with him. She's fine. You not can't do Harlan, listen to me. You lay one finger on her again, you're dead. You hear me? I'll kill you. Get away from this kid's a maniac. He threatened me. I gotta give you credit, T. You were right about Harlan. I'm telling you, he would have gone for it. And then Lizzie walked in and she went crazy. She thought that we were trying to buy her off, which we were. It is a bad idea. A bad idea, and it's not gonna work. She's not gonna go for it. She's a child. She probably changed her mind 12 times before she eats her breakfast. We can't go by what she says. Maybe so, but she is the mother of that baby, and she is entitled to some input. So we're supposed to give up just because of an emotional teenager's tantrums? No, but we gotta come up with some alternative. I mean, money is not the answer. Although I don't know what is. Well, obviously, because you tried and failed. What? I think I'm going to have to step in. I'm going to have to make this happen myself. And what are you going to do? Wait. Huh? I'll be back. What are you doing here? Taking a nap. You know how I love to take naps in the middle of the afternoon? The sun and the sheets, and the wind and the curtains. Look at her. Maggie. You like many Nicochet? Yeah. Um, it's lovely. What are you doing? Uh, listen, there's nothing more in this world that I would rather be doing right now than to be in your arms. But that would just be putting off the inevitable. Inevitable what? Oh, Roger, don't tell me you're still upset about my little prank. No. No, I'm not mad. Good. Because I'm sure Delia survived. I'm sure that she did, too. But uh, if we don't get a couple of things straight right now, something else might not survive. What? Our marriage. little child or something. Don't you see, Maggie? That is the point. Delia is the child here, not you. She can't help herself, but you can. Oh, I see. So because I'm not a lunatic, not only do I have to stop defending my husband, but I have to be the one to initiate peace when she's the one that started this whole thing in the first place. I wouldn't ask you to do it if I didn't think that you could handle it. Well, maybe I can't. Yes, you can. Delia acts and speaks without thinking. She doesn't know how. She just does what she feels like doing. But you, you have a mind and a heart that work together. You can control your impulses. You are stronger than Delia is. You are much more mature. And you, you are so far above this catfighting. And I just wish you could see yourself the way that I see you. As an elegant, compassionate, intelligent woman who doesn't need to demean herself. I never knew you felt that way. Maybe you wanted to hear me. What do you say? Will you make the first move? Okay. That's my Maggie. Tell me again how much smarter I am than Delia. <laughs> A lot. 
lot. And stronger, too. Oh, don't think too highly of me, because, you know, there are some impulses that I just can't control. Especially the ones to do with you. Uh, uh, well, nobody's perfect. I think we can compose. 